Stone, are you ready? Yeah. There it is. Here we go. Timer's ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. All right, folks, so pick your favorite and cheer them on. These guys are now going to take those seven-pound razor blades. They're going to knock into the tree, and you see Arden Coker Jr. here over on pole one planted that board and is jumping up on it. The chubby gray squirrel is up on his first board there on pole number one. Jamie has really slendered down for this event this year. He's on his diet program. He's trying to say, I want to make that springboard creak a little less. He's going up there right now. He's battling against a longtime friend in Chris Bradshaw. We call him The because there's no nickname big enough for that gentleman. We saw him reverse bench pressing the other day. 315 pounds, folks. He's overhead military presses. An absolute juggernaut on pole two. But Derek Knudsen, the little guy in this heat, used loosely. He's up there with Arden Cougar Jr. Now, cheer him on, folks. They can hear you chopping through the front of this block. Woo! Now, if the objective is for them up on top, they're going to cut 90% through the front. They're going to spin around a little fakie style. They're going to go off-handed. Some of these guys can do an off-handed hit like those baseball players you see out there, a little ambidextrous style, and some of them will go with a slashing motion, don't have the coordination to go. You see demonstrations of both of them. Jamie's going right-handed with his off-handed. Knutson's going with the slash. It's gonna be, come down to this final swing here. Knutson's going for the drive. Jamie's going for the gravity. Jamie! Taking the first heat. Knutson's trying to get it to slash, and there it is. Now Bradshaw over there, he's up on that board. And you can tell, big guys, we fight gravity. Gravity is a problem for us bigger people up there. Bradshaw's, yeah, you see it, he's like a King Kong up there on top of the skyscraper. He's like, nay, nay, no, no, not gonna do it. And he's saying, nope, the pole is just leaning too much in the sandy soil. Give them all a big round of applause, folks. to your timber. Three, two, one, go. All right, folks, so these athletes are going to take a series of blows with these seven-pound razor blades. They are going to take and try to make a nice notch in the bottom of this tree. You see Maddie swing up for the climb first. Had some motivation from the Johns to get up there on that first one up there. Got a great board hole going there for a second climb. Trevor Beaudry's got a great second board hole going right now. Trying to go. Maddie now with the climb up there. That was beautiful. A little levitation action there for Maddie Slingerland. On station number one, he's the first to climb, but look at Scooter Coger, your local boy up there now with Maddie Sling. <laughs> Trying to chase down the winning time from that first heat. Maddie has got an extraordinary cup go up there, folks. Give him a big round of applause, cheer him on up there. He's almost got this thing off. Daryl Weekland's now made it to the top of this board. Bowdry's got himself pinched off early. He's gonna have to figure out a way to get it, that axe to cut the back of that log. Maddie Slingerland will take the heat though. Bowdry's trying to reach right up to the scars. He's chasing down Scooter. Scooter is now, ooh. Scooter with a glance, they got the chip was still on that axe. That could have been ugly. Definitely when you hit the belly of that axe, you have a tough go of it. Scooter now trying to get that thing severed in the far side. Bowdry's trying to get it set in the far side. Both of you guys got to hit it with your purse up there. Let's go. There it is for Scooter. <laughs> Bowdry to follow. Let's stick with Daryl Weakland. Daryl's got that kind of that saggy board over there. On station four. He's like, man, come on. It is so humid down here. This, is, this isn't fun anymore. Come. So he's going to take some swings in there. Folks, with these saggy boards like that, you have no sure footing. No sure footing. So you saw like Maddie Slang, his board was kind of saggy as well. Scooter's got a pretty decent board over there. Pretty decent board. You want to be on flat or a little bit more inclined. So you can actually step back on the board and feel comfortable. If your board's sagging, it feels like you're constantly going to slap the tree out and flop and hit the ground. And from that height, that could spell a real disaster for you, whether you're, you're throwing the axe in the ground, damaging your axe, or damaging yourself when you hit the ground as well. But it looks like Weakland has now made it to the back side. Cheer him on up there, folks. Final cutter in the first show of the day here. Virginia Lumberjack Championships. One more hit should do it. There it is. Give him a big round of applause there. Folks, that will do it for this morning's show. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go.
All right, pick your favorite and cheer them on, folks. So this is the springboard chop. If you're just joining us, these athletes got to take a series of blows. Should be about four to six hits to plant those boards in the tree and to make the climb. They're going to have to do it a second time now. You see the U.S. champ and Adam Lefko. Jason Lentz, actually, playing with Lefko. Ooh, and Ferry takes a header off his first board. Slabbed out. He said it was his first time cutting yellow poplar. He's left a little deeper than that into that tree. We've got Lentz and Lefko battling right now. Matt Cobra, Juju going to the top. Not like the champ at all. They're up into the top. Lefko has got a smoking cup though going on pull two. He's made the turn ahead of the monster over there from West Virginia, Jason Lentz. Cheer him on, folks. It's not going to take him long. There it is. Wow, what a cup by Lefko. Taking down two juggernauts in the sport. Koga with a lackadaisical climb, taking down Jason, give them both a big round of applause. <laughs> the big man around here, Adam Lefko. Ferry now from Sweden up on the top board, climbed really well there on that. Let's stick with him, folks. Cheer him on. All the way out of Sweden. Joining us for a week here, training up for the World Championships in a few weeks over in Liverpool. This is, I mean, he's got a great swing. Look at that elegant, beautiful ballerina in motion up there on top. I like it. He's probably going to yell at me later for that. But he's got a great cut going. Cure him out up there, folks. Let him know that Virginia's got three. He's back. He's got a great hit. So now he's got that off-handed swing. He's only been doing the sport now for about three years. He's got a great off-handed swing. He'd be, a, he'd be great now for like the Washington Nationals or somebody who's having a, a, a kind of a crappy year on in baseball. Probably could use him as a switch. And to your timber. Three, two, one, go. All right, folks. So if you're just joining us, this is the springboard shot. These athletes are going to take a series of blows to put these boards in the tree. A good pocket. A lot of these guys are going to try to do it in four hits, but you want to make sure you've got a nice deep board hole there that's going to hold the clip of that board in that tree so you feel comfortable as you're climbing. You see, Zach Brouse has done that right now on pole three. Alex Stone, the young Nittany Lion, has got a good board hole as well. He's now boring into a second hole. And these guys are now going to take a second hole, put that second board in, and climb the tree up. Folks, the historical reverence to this, you've got to have a, a little bit of history lesson when you're out here at Lumberjack Sports. They actually used to do this on the West Coast to get a couple of root swells. The springboard, you can actually see those notches still out in a lot of those national parks out there where the last time they caught was over 100 years ago. You can still see some of those board holes out there. You see Alex Storm has got a great cut going, and he's right up with Steel Timber Sports Series athlete Zach Krauss. Cheer him on, folks. They can hear you out there. Yeah. They have got a great cut going plus, literally the way at the top. No, if Alex Stone could upset him in this one, this could have Steel Series implications for him next year. Looking to chase down great times in this event to build up that resume to be able to cut your way into the professional series. That's why I'm Browse, though, so much power drive behind that hit. He is just taking that block's lunch money up there on station number three. But it looks like Storm now, little bit away. He's got probably, I don't know, six more hits in the front of this block, maybe four more hits in the front of this block before he can get to the back. Browse is now going for that swing in the back. A little period action, and that will be it for Mr. Browse on three. Come on, Alex. Impressive cut though going still for Alex Storm down here on pole four. Cheer him on up there, folks. He can hear you. He can use it. One of the best springboard cuts he's ever made in a show right now. Going for the slashing motion. That was a little high. That was a little high. Got into the top of the block there trying to slab the whole thing off. But he's got a cut cut. He's trying to reach way out, cut that far fiber. It's a lot different than the standing block, folks, where you can stand on the ground, look right around the block, and actually be able to hit it. You're up on that board. You can't come around the block at all. You're so anchored in one position, if you don't reach out there and really get that toe to wrap around, you're not going to be able to cut that far fiber. So let's stick with him up there. Cheer him on, folks. He's struggling. He can hear you. You can see that near is broke. He's got the far almost going. There's a big wobble there. Another little wobble, another little wobble. 
There it goes, there it is. Give him a big round of applause. Contestants ready. Hit the button. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. All right, folks, so this is the Springboard Chop. If you're just tuning into this, these athletes have yeah, got to up. make a notch in this tree that will hold them, support yeah, their bird and themselves as they climb this thing. So they're trying to go nice and deep into these yellow poplar poles. Make sure they get in there. You see Jones has climbed the board, taking the step. Yes, yeah, this little assist by the stand on that one. I don't hate it. Using a little step over there. Sergeant, oh, yeah, easy there, see this. He stabbed out of so that right pocket there. He's got to go a little bit deeper. Not uh, ideal see. falling off of these right, trees. So you're going gonna... to put my drive in on this side. Matthew Jones has got a great play going there. You need to have your dogs on the right side because you never want to. Well, over here, he's got about two hits well, to make that thing about perfect over here. So Just trying to get that husky little fiber out of the back of that thing. Oh, and then he's got the bottom of the ground. Definitely when you hit a little low, you compromise so yeah, like the support like that, right? in the bottom of that hook yeah, there, the bottom of that pocket. And then when so you now these guys are trying to make the climb up. Looks like Matthew Jones planting the axe we, we put through. Another, uh, man, on another wedge. Yeah. Oh, it's inclusive. Board. Jones, he's down. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Hey. And it's okay, it's okay. The axe is still up there. You're good to go. So when the axe comes with you, that becomes a real problem. Real problem. So he's going to try to mend that pocket a little bit. robson has got that there right in the center there. He's up. Oh, and that is a little, 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 little narrow. Little, that was it. I don't know if you guys caught that. That was a heck of a Tony Romo impression. Oh, no, there, guy. Yeah, that was a heck of a Tony Romo impression. So, Romsley's now up. He's got that board. He's not quite settled back on it nearly enough as he, he'd want to. <laughs> you want to have that board at either level or slightly uphill. If you don't have that angle on the board, you cannot get back on your board because you're afraid you're going to slab it out the entire time. So we've got two really saggy boards. Andrew Sargent, bigger guy, young guy out of West Virginia University. He's going to make sure he's got a really good second hole to get up there. Yeah, Roms didn't like it. Roms is going to come back down, try to get some of the test fibers on his back to give himself some... Uh, uh, There. The big bear that he is. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. It's the Dave Jones of the Springboard world. Not good. No. So <laughs> he's going to calm down. He's going to take a couple more hits. Oh, and he just slabbed the tree on his way down. So not only does he now have to mend the top one, he's going to mend the bottom one. Tough break for Wamsley in the Springboard. But Jones is whittling away now at the top of that far side. I see a lot of new oh, faces in the crowd out here, folks. You gotta be looking at this event like, you guys are insane. What is wrong with you? Why are you chopping nine feet up in the air with a seven pound razor blade? Well, folks, it's all historically relevant. And that's a lot of lumberjack sports. Everything has this historical purpose. So back in the old days, these guys actually used to climb trees like this to put boards in to be able to cut timber down. And this is mostly on the West Coast where you have those giant western hemlocks, those Sitka spruce, those big cedar trees. They get up above the roof layers to get into that valuable timber to make sure it can go back to the mill. You're not taking any garbage with you. And look at Jones, and there it is, Matthew Jones taking the heat. He's like, man, I need a face plant. I, I'm climbing through adversity in that one. I still take the wind in the heat. Got to feel good. Wamsley's got that thing raking out over there. He's now making the climb again. But look at young Andrew Sargent. Sargent's got a great cut. He's a local guy, folks, out of Richmond. Make sure to cheer him on over here. He can hear you up here. <laughs> He's got a promising future in the sport if he can ever wake up on time for an event. Uh, <laughs> just got a few more swings to go before he's going to make the turn. All right, so now he's made the turn. We're going to see what he's got. If he's, if he's doing it, he's right from the side. He's like, this is killing me. You guys do this for fun? He's been doing only a few swing notes so far, so this is an impressive cut going for him, folks. All about it's losing the endurance the in this event. You got one more big There's hit to go. Why we yeah, it is. Kind of... Andrew Sargent is coming in second in the heat. Robs you, Savage.